Palantir's current offerings lend themselves to larger companies and large contracts. Do you think Palantir will start to target smaller companies and contract sizes to increase their total addressable market? If so, do you think they will sell modules of current products or new products entirely? Now, this is a great question. And if we even look back to Palantir's origins, we know they started with the government which really is, if you think about it, the biggest business in that sort of sense. So they've always been focused on large entities. And what that means is, as we've seen them talk about, they've been focused on building a thick platform, which means all of these applications, Carp has described it as hundreds of applications and utilities within Foundry, for instance, in just Foundry. So when you talk about Palantir Foundry and who it's meant for, right now it's really meant for big business. And it's meant for those Fortune 500 companies, so many of which we know are using Foundry. So when we talk about the ability for Palantir to target smaller companies and even get down to smaller contract sizes, currently with Palantir's current business, we know they've even talked about in their S1 focusing on hitting 6,000 of the largest businesses to be using their products. So they have so much farther to go with big businesses when you think about it. However, if Palantir is able to, as we've heard Carp talk more about, and this is a philosophical issue, it seems like within Palantir, thin out its product line, meaning take some of its thicker products and break them down into modules that can be used as thinner products within an organization that might not need the entire thick foundry platform and sell those instead, it really could drastically expand Palantir's product offering. But let's just take a step back for a second. We know Palantir launched Foundry for Builders approximately one year ago in summer of 2021. Now here we stand in summer of 2022, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, and we know that Palantir has gone through a couple cohorts of the Foundry for Builders program. Now, as far as I understand, Palantir Foundry for Builders is not a huge money winner for the company, but it sets a general direction for how Palantir could progress with smaller to more medium-sized businesses. As we know, they're also enabling some of their offerings on AWS, IBM, and Google Cloud, for instance. So Palantir, I think, is going to be progressing very much so on targeting these large companies where they can get in and win enormous contracts, as we've seen, because frankly, there's so much farther to go, but I think the company is also setting up for when it is possible to do so to expand down market. They're going to be planting those seeds as we've seen, but as far as we stand right now, there's a lot farther to go with the large scale businesses in my opinion.